Hey guys, how's it going? I am making this video primarily as an update upon an update on what's going to be happening in the next few weeks and why I haven't been making videos for the last few weeks, for the last like month or so. The explanation is that I have been doing finals, moving, and then my Eagle Scout. I'm finally getting my Eagle Scout. My birthday is in like a month, and you only have until your 18th birthday to do it. So I am so excited to be almost done with it. But yeah, anyway, that's one of the things that I've been doing over the last month or so. But what's really interesting, what, what you guys care about, is what's going to happen from here on out for the next month. Now, I know you want to hear, you want to hear that I'm going to make videos every day, all day, for the next month. Can't happen, I'm sorry, because something very exciting is happening. Very exciting. Oh my god, so exciting. I am going to be going to, wait for it, wait for it, Ireland. I'm going to be in Ireland for the next three weeks. I, it's Thursday today. I'm leaving Monday. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Going to Ireland. But that means I can't make videos for you guys. So what I'm going to be doing instead is, and I'll explain about Ireland in a minute, but let me get the stuff out of the way for a second. What I'm going to be doing instead of making videos is I thought this would be kind of fun. I thought it would be fun to do this. A Q&A session where in the comments of this video, you guys ask me questions. Now, it can be any question in the world. It can be, what religion am I? What's your favorite food? What's your political position? What's your favorite book? How many cats do you own? How many, do you have any dogs? Uh, what's your favorite sport? Anything, just anything in the world you can think of that might be a question that you want to ask me, ask it in the comments right now. Just, if you have 10 questions, ask 10 questions. If you have one question, ask one question. If you have 30 questions, ask all your questions. Just, I, because I really want to do this, because I think this would be a good exercise for me to, like, humanize myself and put a, uh, put, I already put a face to the name and the face to the voice, but I haven't put, like, a personality or, like, a, a person to the face, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, just give me your questions, and, uh, yeah, that is what I'll be doing once I get back. I'll look through your questions and answer all of them if I can. If I can't answer all of them, I'll answer as many as I can. Uh, yeah, so just do that. And now I want to talk about the meat and potatoes of this video. That was it. But now I want to talk about what I'm doing in Ireland. If you're interested in that, keep watching. So what happened was, so you see what happened was, I found out about it two days ago. It, it, okay, it's, it's an Irish immersion summer camp. So I go there and I can only speak Irish. I can't speak English. I can't speak Spanish, Latin. French, just only Irish. You get kicked out if you speak any other language. So I'm going to go there and speak only Irish. Now, I speak a little bit of Irish. Like, I can say, like, the man is walking. The man is running. The girls are running. The boys are running. The boy is running. You know, basic stuff that you learn in any class, you know, in Irish. I, I'm, I'm doing the Rosetta Stone Irish. But I don't know, like, complex... Irish, and if you see the lighting changing, that's the clouds coming in and out, uh, stupid sunlight, whatever. But yeah, so it's going to be an Irish only, uh, Irish speaking only, which is going to be scary, but uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to be gone for about three weeks. I almost thought I couldn't go because uh, they need an emergency contact there, because you know, I live in America, Ireland, and they're in Ireland, so if something happened to me, they needed someone to go to in an emergency. And then we thought about, well, we have family in Ireland, but we haven't talked to them since the 80s. So we don't even know if they're still alive, or much less if they still live where they were in the 80s. Um, and if they would recognize us or know us. So, you know, we screw that. Um, we talked to some, one of my teachers in my old school, because he's Irish. Uh, and he said he had someone, like his sister-in-law or something, some relative of his, where they would be willing to be my emergency contact. We talked to an old priest we knew from Ireland. Uh, he said he had a brother there, uh, a, a familial brother, not a, a you know, a, not a Catholic monk brother. <laughs> Maybe he's both, I don't know. But, yeah, so anyway, we had, um, we have a contact there, but I was really scared I wouldn't be able to go, because I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm excited! Ugh, so excited! Ah! I'm sorry, that was, that was unprofessional of me. That was... It was very unprofessional of me. I should be more careful as to my uh, conduct in front of you guys. But I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't give a shit. But anyway, uh, yeah, so just tell me 
Uh, like if you want, if you have any questions specifically about my trip to Ireland, ask those when I get back, you know, for when I get back. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you guys are, I mean, it's hard for you to be excited for me, but you know, I hope you are excited for me. Uh, I've, oh, I've always loved Irish stuff. I've got, um, myths and folk tales of Ireland, um, Irish history. You're, you're on a bookcase, by the way, that, that's where my camera is, which is why I'm reaching out towards you to grab books. Um, but I've got a, a book in there. I've got, uh, the history of Irish Americans. I've got... Um, a few more that I don't want to bother dragging out, but I've, I've got a, I got a bunch of books on Ireland, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, my grandpa's from there, I've always been interested in it, just, like, on, like, a personal level and on, like, a, uh, I don't know, non-personal, like, academic level. I think it's a very interesting place, even separate from, uh, my, you know, connections to it, uh, personally. But yeah, so I'm really excited I hope you guys are excited too. I hope you guys are excited for me. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you in a month. And uh, outro, outro. This is my outro. Making an outro. Dancing for my outro. Okay, bye.